Jack and Anne were simply looking forward to a quiet evening at their favorite restaurant. Jack, a proud veteran of the Vietnam War, wore his Navy cap as a symbol of his years of service and dedication. He and his wife were there to celebrate a special occasion, an anniversary of sorts. It was a night meant for love and peace. But as they settled in, something unexpected and unpleasant happened. Before we dive into today's story, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and definitely smash the notification button for more thrilling stories. And Jack and Ann decided to celebrate their night at their favorite restaurant, but fate had other plans for them. The couple had just settled at their table, ready to enjoy their meal and share some quality time together when a noise interrupted their conversation. Jack turned around to check what was happening. He saw four young men bursting through the entrance, their loud chatter and boisterous laughter drawing the attention of everyone in the restaurant. The young men, all ranging from 18 to their early 20s, were a diverse group, tall, short, lean, and muscular, with haircuts that suggested discipline, possibly even a military background. The first one that caught Jack's eye was a tall, broad-shouldered man with a rough exterior. His unruly hair and sharp blue eyes were intense, and he wore a worn leather jacket with visible tattoos, including a sword on his arm. Next to him was another man, lean and muscular, with a noticeable scar on his cheek. He too wore a leather jacket. The third one was as strong as the others, but he was quieter, scanning the room with sharp eyes. The last one appeared exhausted, like he hadn't slept in days. Jack's instincts, honed by years of military service, kicked in immediately. Something about the group made him concerned. He could feel their eyes on him. Despite his best efforts to focus on dinner, he couldn't shake the feeling that something was about to happen. Anne knew that her husband's mind was filled with memories of his time in the Navy. His service had made him hyper-aware of his surroundings. She sensed his thoughts and whispered to him, Jack, they're just boys trying to ease his mind. Jack, with his sharp personality and military training, had learned to always be aware of his surroundings and spot potential threats before they could escalate. Now he had a gut feeling that these young men were planning something, something risky. He refused to let his guard down. As the minutes ticked by, the young men's behavior grew increasingly disruptive. Their laughter echoed through the restaurant, their gestures exaggerated and noisy. Jack's patience was wearing thin. What was supposed to be a peaceful evening was turning into a situation where Jack was preparing for a confrontation. He had faced far greater dangers in his life, and he wasn't about to back down now. As if the young men had read his mind, the tallest of them, the one with the sword tattoo, stood up and walked directly toward Jack and Anne's table. Jack's heart pounded. He prepared to defend himself and his wife. Anne sensed his tension and urgently whispered for him to calm down. She knew her husband, though in his 70s, could still unleash fury if someone made the mistake of provoking him. The young man's determined gaze only intensified Jack's resolve. He stood to meet the boy's stare, ready for whatever might come next. To his surprise, the young man reached the table, extended his hand, and said, Sir, I just wanted to pay my respect and thank you for your service. For a moment, Jack was stunned. This was not what he expected. The sincerity in the young man's eyes was undeniable. Jack shook the boy's hand, feeling his body relax. The young man explained that he and his friends had noticed Jack's navy cap and wanted to express their gratitude for his service and sacrifices. As the young man returned to his table, Jack sat down, still trying to process what had just happened. Anne smiled, squeezing his hand, and confirmed what she had sensed all along, that the boys meant no harm. But the eventful evening wasn't over yet. As Jack and Anne were about to leave, they asked for the bill. The waiter handed Jack a receipt with a note from the young men. Jack, overwhelmed by their gesture, looked over at them and realized something he hadn't noticed before. They were Marines in town on leave. His heart swelled with pride and nostalgia. He remembered when he was their age, just starting his own journey in the service, much like they were now. With a sense of pride, Jack walked over to thank them. The young Marines stood and greeted Jack with respect introducing themselves one by one. They invited him and Anne to join them for a drink, and the couple agreed. The old veteran and the young Marines shared stories of duty, discipline, and the challenges of military life. Jack listened to them, offered advice, and shared his experiences. 
For Jack, this was more than just a dinner. It was a profound moment of connection, a reminder of his own service and responsibilities to his country. As Jack and Anne were preparing to leave, something beautiful happened. The Marines, in a final gesture of respect, lined up in front of Jack. Each one shook his hand and gave him a salute. The restaurant, once filled with noise, fell silent. The other diners watched in awe and respect. The room erupted in applause as Jack, deeply moved, thanked the young men for an unforgettable evening. What do you think about the Marines' behavior? How did you feel about Jack's reaction? We would love to hear your thoughts on today's story. For more stories like this, don't forget to subscribe to the Nice Time channel.